Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Have you ever wondered why this game is so heavily badge based, man? I just don't understand what's up with badges. Like, I understand that you gotta have badges and they have the badges in the game for a reason. Like, badges to me should enhance your ability to do something. If I'm already good at shooting from the corner, I should become even better at shooting from the corner. If I'm good at catching and shooting, I should become even better at catching and shooting. If I combine certain badges, I should be even better at it because I've worked for the badge. This is this is literally how I play. Like, limitless range, I'm not gonna get limitless range. I won't be able to hit from limitless because I don't try to shoot from there. But should I need that ability, it should be there. I shouldn't have to have the bats just to be able to do it. And and that's, that's well, maybe we're limiting this range because if you can't hit from deep, you shouldn't be able to hit from deep just because you have a bat. Like, I shouldn't be able to do it just because I have a bat, but at the same time, I shouldn't require a bat and able to do it. And, and with this, they've even got a bat for catching the ball. And I'm going somewhere with this, so just rock with me, man. I mean, really, glue hands. Where's glue hands? The badge is glue hands. It literally says known for his ability to make difficult catches. Like, why is that even a thing? I shouldn't need a badge to catch the ball in a video game, and there's no way that I can catch the ball better. There's no way I can train myself, and the way that you get this badge is literally by getting steals. So it's just like, a lot of this stuff does not make sense to me, but just because it doesn't make sense doesn't mean it doesn't have any place in the game. So I'm saying all that to say this. The reason that a lot of people are getting a lot of wind-ups and a lot of, you know, fumbling and bumbling, stumbling with the ball when they try to shoot the uh, shoot the basketball, when you're trying to do a catch-and-shoot situation. I know you've all seen it. You try to catch the ball in the catch-and-shoot situation, and you're standing still, but when your guy catches the ball, um, I'm not even talking about the pass from the post where you have to jump a mile high in order to get the ball. I'm talking about the pass where it's just an ordinary chest pass to you in the corner and your guy is stumbling, bumbling, fumbling and then you have to actually catch the ball, wait two or three seconds before you can use your catch and shoot and then you can shoot. By that time, catch and shoot probably is worn off. You're probably going to break the shot or you just waited too long. I was playing the game earlier today with my dog, Javion, and uh, normally it happens to us so often that we don't notice when it doesn't happen. But today, me, me, Sauce, and Javion were playing and it didn't happen to me nearly as much. And I was like, it wasn't happening so often that I was trying to overcompensate for it and, uh, you know, compensate for it. I'd be like, yo, I can't shoot the ball. I'm so used to a load up that I'm trying to get myself right before I shoot it, but all I have to do is catch and shoot. And the thing is, the magical, mystical, magical difference was we play so much of this game with people that are not playmakers that when you play with somebody that actually has dimer, it is, it is like so, so crazy that, that you don't even realize that, hey, this guy has diamond. This is why I'm able to catch the ball and catch and shoot position and actually just go right up with it. I did not know this. I don't know if you guys knew it, but I mean, you got so many shot creating, um, shot creating, whatever you call them. They might not have diamond, but it's shot creating playmakers. They get diamond, but I'm sure a lot of people probably don't have diamond. So you got, you, you, we play with shot creating, sharp shooters or pure sharps at the point. You play with so many things at the point that are not a playmaker, that when you play with somebody that is a playmaker that's actually gonna give you these good passes, it's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. So I don't know if you guys knew, like we had tried literally everything. I was trying to go run to the corner, hold L and catch the ball. And that works sometimes because you will get in the, in the catch and shoot position, but it had no bearing on the pass. And today, like I said, JV Young throw, throws me the ball. Sauce is catching the ball. Nobody's getting the load up animation. Nobody's getting the wind up animation. Nobody's getting anything. So from what I'm thinking is the higher your dimer, the more ready your player will be to catch the ball when, when he's ready to catch it. Like I said, I mean, I'm catching it on the perimeter. I'm, I'm catching it rolling. And I, I just I just didn't understand what was going on. And I just thought about it at the end. I was like, yo, this is the first time I've played with somebody that has diamond. Because I've played with other playmakers, but Anonymous don't have diamond because he he just made this guy. And, and uh, you know, uh, Man Man has a shot creating uh, slasher, so he doesn't have diamond. Nobody that I've played with, Sauce doesn't have diamond. He's a pure shark. Nobody that I've played with to this point has had dimer other than, um, SBG Lifestyle and, uh, and and Xavion. So that has to be the difference. When they're passing me the ball, when they're passing other people the ball, people can go right up with it, almost to the point where it's throwing your time enough because you can go up instantly and you don't have to move and fight against it. It was just something that, that's just something that I, I just noticed today. You guys let me know 
if that makes a difference. Or go out there and play with your buddy that has Dimer and just have him to throw you the ball and see if that makes a difference based on somebody that doesn't have it. Actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to do an experiment. Uh, the second half of this video, we're probably trying to put it out today, does Dimer really matter? What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go to my court. Uh, we're going to play twos, just do twos. And I'm going to have... I'm gonna team up with a person, or we'll do threes, and we'll team up, I, I have a person on my team that doesn't have Dimer, and a person on my team that does have Dimer, and we're gonna see, I know that Dimer is supposed to make you shoot the ball better, but I really feel like this year, Dimer is the difference between you catching the ball cleanly and going up with it, and and you not doing it, and you catching the ball fumbling around. I even saw my dude, uh, Soul Numenati, he was like, yo, why am I catching the ball? I'm standing still, I'm in catch and shoot position. Why do I keep catching this basketball and fumbling around before I can shoot it? And I think I, I, I think that might be it. So we're gonna do the second half of this video today. Does Diamond really matter? But uh, this is why I think we are stumbling, bumbling, and fumbling around. And like I said, the reason that I'm on to this is because today I played for the first time with somebody that had Dimer. And I mean, it was Cash City, man. It, it didn't even matter. As soon as I caught the ball, I could go up. Didn't have to prepare, didn't have to set my feet. And like I said, it was to the point where it was almost annoying. But anyway, I've already talked too long, man. Uh, you guys let me know if it makes a difference to you. Or go test it out in the park today and you guys let me know. We got Raising with Randoms coming up tomorrow. HD is still editing that video. And I got a whale of one coming up for you tomorrow too. Uh, Raising with Randoms with my center. First game with the center. So you guys be on be on the lookout for that. But uh, anyway, I'm out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, let me know what you think. Does Diamond make a difference with you catching the ball? I don't think it makes a difference with, with whether or not you're going to make the shot, but I definitely see that difference when you catch. He had gold diamond too, so it was beautiful this morning. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Why can't I get diamond? Didn't they say that there was supposed to be something in this game where the postman was supposed to get the ball and be able to have a uh, post, post operator or something like almost like a postman diamond or something? And they didn't even put that out there. I'm tired of Mike Wong in 2K, man. Come on. Stop lying about this. Oh, and don't even get me started about the three games that I lost this morning, two games I lost this morning, because they let a lockdown defender slasher hit threes consistently. I'm, you know what? Maybe he had corner specialists or something. I don't know. I didn't even know he could get it. It don't matter, man. I'm gone. Peace.